Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm replacing these posts that hold up this uh, little roof structure right here. Uh, starting out, the original reason was fixing these footings, which we got that done. And now these posts that they were that were used are just four by fours, and they're not all that terrible per se, but they have a tendency to warp over time. Let me just see if I can get a good angle. You can see how bad this one is. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but this uh, board right here is pretty warped going down. And uh, talking with my grandpa, he's a contractor, he said that that's a pretty common thing to happen. So he said the best way to prevent that is to make your own, basically, posts uh, by using two treated 2x4s and a sandwich in between a half inch of plywood. So you can see right here, this one is already finished. And if we look down it, it is very nice and straight. Both of these are. Now the other thing that you have going for you is that you can take the warp out of them. So let's look at this one here. We can see that this one's got a little bit of a downward curve to it or arches a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll put that the opposite of this one over here, which also has a little bit of an arch to it going the other way and those will balance each other out and you'll end up with a nice straight beam that is much more dimensionally stable and less likely to warp. So let's go ahead and assemble one over here and I'll show you kind of what we're doing to do this. We've got some construction adhesive here. This is liquid nails, but you could probably use whatever you want. We just want to keep these uh, well anchored together. So we'll put a pretty thick bead of liquid nails going down both of these. That looks like mountains. Yeah, don't touch it. Yeah, it does look like mountains, doesn't it? Yeah. And I have both of these laying in such a way that they are curved up on either end. So when I flip them over to lay them on top of each other, it will take the curve out of both of them. Obviously choosing some really straight lumber is important. And then since I have to add on a small piece here, because it's longer than eight feet, um, what I'll do is I'll set this here, and then we're gonna put a good bead of adhesive right on the end of these. So that they can really get stuck together well there. Now we're just about ready to flip our other one over and set it on here. It's popped up there it looks like, but it'll squish together here. Line up my ends, and I'm gonna trim these to the final length here once I'm done putting them together. I got them kind of close what I want their final length to be. So what I like to do is stand on this, get it lined up first. Just about there. And then stand on it when you put your anchor in. Oh, set this up just a little bit. There we go. Just like that. And that helps a lot in just making sure that everything gets sandwiched together well. I should be using screws that are a little bit longer, but this is what I have, so that's the other reason I need to do it a little bit more. Now I'll go way down to the opposite end. 